Uh, okay, and now uh, I will, just as we lead into the singularity topic, I will speak about the vending machine that inspired it all. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, there you go, fast. <laughs> Mini Chips Ahoy. The vending machine is this fantastic, this new vending machine, not the vending machine. This new vending <laughs> machine is just a touch screen and it shows all the products that you can buy. And so what you do is you walk up to it and it's got like little spinning representations of the products and you click on it, it go up big and it'll spin around again and show you what it's like. Yeah. And uh, this is the new vending machine really. And uh, it seems like a little bit basic, like not nothing that much. And you're like, wow, that, that's really cool. Like when I first saw it, I was like, fuck, that's epic. That's so crazily awesome. But then when I started thinking about it a little bit more, I was like, I'm sure people like my grandparents or parents, I don't know when the original vending machine came out. They uh, thought, wow, a vending machine where I don't have to interact with people, I can just pay for it and then get my food out of it. They thought that was pretty fucking crazy. Or pretty convenient awesome. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And the fact that I've seen this all over the web, like all of these people talking about it, yeah. just has really inspired this idea of uh, when does it become a platform? When does technology become that platform where you just don't care anymore? Yeah. And uh, that's what this vending machine is going to be. Awesome at the moment. Like, check out the video. Fucking awesome. But at the moment... They, they deployed it in a library, this one. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of it. Okay. Interesting place. Okay. But I just want to mention quickly this um this comment that I saw that was really cool. Um, basically saying everyone's like, oh, why would they? It's stupid. Why? But um, uh, this guy was saying basically because you have an entire screen you can play with, you can dynamically change the pricing. You can yeah. dynamically change the eye level. So one example is like obviously you just have a simple heat sensor in there. If it's a um hot day, you make water more expensive. If it's a cold day, yeah, you make coffee more expensive. A lot of people, though, really <laughs> no, but you, you do off. it so slowly that they don't notice. Well, they notice the price. It'd be better with um. Yeah, well, it's a possibility. I mean, it is. He's just making. Yeah. You you could have it like kids walking by and all of that, and actually make it go down lower. I think that was, that was something you yeah, were yeah, saying yeah. earlier on. Or tonight. like, or old people, you know, you d you determine. Yeah. That these are the products that old people are most likely like. Here's their you know average eye level yeah, display yeah. products here when they walk past. Yeah, and then just get them yeah. to buy that, and then just at that price there. Like if it's a hot day, they could just put tons of water like in the most predominantly yeah. obvious spots. Or imagine like face recognition, just a simple oh, camera. Yeah. You walk up if you've already been there before. I can say like, hey, or it pulls up your Facebook profile. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah, it's like, you, you, your friends like this product, you should try it. Yeah, you should try it. Come on, everyone's been trying yeah. out the new mother. It's fantastic. Yeah. Double the energy. And then based Twice on your it. purchases, it can say, hey, you bought one of these. And the gaming mechanism, you, oh, bought, yeah. you bought four mothers this week. Yeah. Um, buy another one. For yeah, get up to 200 bonus mother points. Yeah. Get 5,000 and you get a free mother thing. Mother's like the Red Bull for Australia. Yeah. It's, it's owned by Coke. It, I don't think they have it in Moth the States. No, they, they have it in the States, except Mother's gone really well in Australia and not very well in the States. Oh, okay. Fair so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, sorry. We... Singularity is something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <That's> it... <laughs> Singularity. Uh, this... That, well, that relates to it. Is, uh, just That's a reason why the vending machine would become the new standard. Now, the reason for the Singularity topic... And we'd love your thoughts on all this, like anyone watching this or anyone thinking about any of that. What's going to be the new standard of anything? coming out like what, what's going to be like say platform. yeah the platform at the moment like the platforms become like probably the cutting edge right now is maybe the smartphone the smartphone is like the new platform you just assume everyone has that and everyone's trying to work and make their new things on make top perfect yeah yeah whereas we can look around we see platforms everywhere i mean they're very much like the video recorder and like yeah. fridges and seats and all of concrete. that concrete flat, concrete flat concrete. floors fantastic <laughs> yeah they're all yeah. standards that have been reached but as we start approaching the singularity and as we start going that way, we're going to see a lot of disruptions to all the standards. And it's interesting to think, yeah, let's get rid of laptops. Yeah. Even the clamshell laptop thing. Everything has become a standard <laughs> and it's very, uh, it's very difficult to actually think like what will be like new standards. I'm not, I'm not well, really a, a sure. New standard, a new standard doesn't necessarily mean that's the best technology. No, no, it doesn't have to at all. It's just mass adoption, really. Yeah. And it, it just, it does it enough. Now. It yeah. does whatever it does enough. This, this whole idea of like um, technology as a platform, it goes back to like the beginning of the universe type thing. Oh, definitely. You can because all the way. I mean, you see all the, you know, the quarks and all the blah, 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 you know, atoms are formed, blah, 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 yeah. it's a platform and then, and, you know, molecules are formed, blah, 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 it's a great platform. Multicellular organisms, blah, blah, and then DNA yeah. forms, that creates a platform. DNA blah, blah, has been <laughs> the greatest platform ever because it allowed yeah. all of this to exist. Like DNA, ultimate platform. Although it's coming to an ultimate end. Ultimate platform. Well, that's true. <laughs> Well, then we got into the idea of memes and the uh, the idea of like yeah. you know text and all of that. And then the internet was an obvious, well, writing probably first. 
Writing, yeah. Writing allowed for communication to be external. Yeah, and you allowed to actually put your knowledge onto something that wasn't you that could yeah. live on forever. Yeah. And that was the birth of uh, technology, really. Yeah, and books, the Gutenberg Press. Yeah, blah, well, it blah, keeps blah, on going. Internet. There's lots of platforms. And so even now, like... Facebook? Yeah. Social now? Yeah, see, that, well, see that's it. Like, um, we can look at them as actual platforms that... And this is where it gets interesting is like predicting the next one. Like, I mean, you predict a platform and you build it, a, you're done, you've changed the world. Like, that is how you change well, the world. Well, I guess our big focus is gaming. Games, the, I think, the game, are the gaming maybe platform on big, life. Yeah, I, I agree with you. But that's, this is ours. That's, I'm sure there's others. It's oh, just, yeah. <laughs> that's the one we've been focusing on a lot. That's what we're interested in, yeah. Yeah, just uh, there's been a lot of talks recently about uh, gaming being an actual platform that coming into the real world. Yeah. Uh, doing. Uh, we've spoken about this a lot before on High 45, like, you know, uh, gaming points. Gaming points, yeah. like anything you do should have points associated to it to encourage behavior. Um, what, what, what about more, well, what do you think is going to be like the biggest platform change in the next, like, you know, 10 years? Well, even regarding around the singularity and stuff, like, what do you think uh, a platform huh. will be? Like, I mean, you could say like, I, I'm, I'm probably going more HUD overlay, but I don't know, what, what are you thinking? Yeah, HUD overlay, I guess. Well, the internet really hasn't matured as a platform yet. It's no, kind of it's like no, it's no, kind no. of like the platform of platforms. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a <laughs> massive thing. If that makes any sense. Look, Connect everyone in the world. Go. Yeah. <laughs> that's really the, yeah. That's the platform of the internet. It, it's. I think that'll be absolutely, utterly finished once we connect every single neuron in every single brain to every other neuron in every other brain. Yes. Dynamically. I mean, yeah. how do you get any further? Unless you get into quantum level, how do you get any further than that? Isn't that yeah. that that's like the end game of the internet? Yeah. It's here, here, it wants to be here, Yeah, yeah. you can't get any further than that, so... Well, that's true, yeah, actually connecting every neuron on every, every person, every living thing, actually, all thinking together. Yeah. I think that's the end that's game. The Everything old, else yeah. is, you know, it, it's just, it will just happen. Like... But see, well, that's where it becomes interesting, like, going back to the DNA example, that that'll just be another platform, that everything is connected, now what? That's where it becomes fun. Imagine every, every, every neuron in the world is all connected, and that'll happen. That'll happen within our life. Well, probably within yeah. our lives. I mean, you go singularity thing, then definitely. Um, just upgrade it. Yeah. <laughs> well, where, where does it go from there? Like, what platforms will you have on top? Because that <laughs> is the platform for everything. <laughs> the entire know. world. That's what, that's what becomes fun. Like, we, we spoke about the social layer, that there'll be a, a definite way for people to actually, like, share ideas and share things that way. Yeah. I mean, we've got a few examples at the moment, like, most notably Facebook and Twitter, obviously. Yeah. Um, then there's a lot of other people saying, hey, we can do it this way, do it this way, but it hasn't actually gone there yet. But then there'll need to be, like, let's just say, every neuron is, like, connected and all together. There'd need to be higher functioning there. That, I mean, we're all smart individually, but the, the thing or the process that could actually in get everyone to all think together as, like, higher level, yeah. actually make smart decisions based on everyone all thinking together that's going to be like a big platform that's going to be the massive thing that's that's the singularity like people say about you know no, well, it's AI, AI it's like saying oh we'll make it just with the, within a computer brain. it doesn't connect with the person <clears throat> fuck that it doesn't connect with the person it connects with us always we're the intelligence <laughs> yeah and so yeah well, so that's a very different platform to the platforms we've experienced so far yeah, like when, we, when we're talking about platforms, like like just another example, I thought that we didn't mention is like you know the the desktop, mm. the operating system. I mean, Microsoft pretty much owns that for now yeah. until. But then then I, I I have a feeling that the web OS will replace that. Mm. So I guess it, every single platform is still evolving in its own sense. Yeah. But there's things that are on top of it that are evolving faster. It's almost like that um you know the the S curve that Kurzweil always pushes is a big thing. Yeah. Like every single dip in that S curve is the platforms being made. Then everyone's just like, okay, how do we use this new platform to make the next one? Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's it. Every platform makes a new one. Like when it, it starts off, everyone's like, oh my God, we can do this. this, this, this. Everyone's like, oh, we made a platform. What do we do next? What do we do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do that, oh, yeah. I made a platform. What are, what are we doing this? <laughs> it's so true. And then you get a platform that can actually disestablish like so many of the earlier platforms as well. It's, it's great. Yeah. I mean, that's what the internet's allowed so many things to happen. It was like, yeah, it's a platform of platforms. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, Everything should feed through it. Yeah. It's difficult to think what will actually like keep on going from there. I mean, um, my, my big thing is I think that the economy is like very much going to be uh, start to re be replaced there. I mean, that's been our basis, our platform for all of society for like at least the yeah, past 300 currency. years. It yeah. works so brilliantly. Yeah. To an extent. 
to an extent and that's <laughs> it like we can we can do more with it there are so many platforms opening up and that's what i really love at the moment with the net is there are so many platforms that haven't been established yet that can be. Yeah. And that's what makes it so much fun. It's like the birth of the industrial revolution that, hey, I can make a factory do this. Hey, I can make a factory do that. All yeah. these platforms hadn't been established yet. Now we look at it's like, oh yeah, we can buy whatever we want from China and get it shipped over for free and do whatever. <laughs> like that took a lot. That Those platforms didn't exist there yeah. for ages. Another big thing that the platform really needs to survive is openness. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Uh, it, it, all these people are trying to shut down the internet right now, like, you know, net neutrality and all that crap. It's, it's utter bullshit. Like, they, mm. if, they, if they do put any restrictions on the internet, it's just going to kill it. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it'll, you'll, form, you'll, you'll have, like, an underground segment, and that'll just, like, slow progress, and then you'll eventually get back to, like, heads open open, because it's more beneficial. That's another thing that I think will happen, that there will actually be a platform for the net about what we accept and what we don't. I mean, there already is established Pri right now. That, privacy platform. Yeah, yeah. what privacy? And, like, even stuff like, say, the most horrible of the horrible, say, like, like you know, child porn and all of that. Like, that's not acceptable. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, what I'm, saying is that, <laughs> what I'm saying is that the most horrible of the horrible things that you, like, even anywhere on the net, you can't find it unless you really, really want to, whereas, like, most of the other perverted sex acts, you can just like, type yeah, in. Don't, don't search for blue waffles. Yeah, well, stuff like that. I mean, like, that's fine, but, like, there are certain things that we can't get, and that's a platform. It's a rudimentary platform, but it'll be more and more established, especially as legal laws come in and all of that, that this is okay, this is not, and then yeah. the underground will keep on happening. And that's why the debate over privacy, uh, piracy is the big thing. Yeah. But the big thing that we forgot to mention, which I think you were pushing for, is um, w when things actually become a platform, we don't see them as exciting anymore. No, it's boring. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> like Do you remember surfing the World Wide Web? When was the last time you surfed surfing? the net? <laughs> yeah. Have you surfed the net recently? Or even things like... Um, like any technology around you that's not yeah. the internet, like or it's not cutting edge. Well, I forget yeah. whose quote it was, but it's like technology is anything that doesn't quite work yet. <laughs> yeah. And so then you're like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> and everything else is just, oh, that's not technology. That's just a fridge. Yeah. It was really advanced, it's like a few decades yeah. ago, like a hundred, ten decades uh, ago. A chair, like look at these yeah. chairs. I would not. I would have no. I, I wouldn't even know who to contact. For them to tell me how to make that. Yeah, it's very... Let nice alone chair. make it myself or organise a group of people to make the... the yeah, the computer So guy. many... Yeah, we, we... It's dumbed down in a sense. It's, it's so advanced. dollars worth of R&D, right? It's so advanced we have no idea how to use it. Yeah. But it's dumbed down for us so we can. Yeah, <laughs> we can go in. But anyway, I hope that's uh, encouraged a few different thoughts, a few different yeah, things. Uh, we'll dry on topics this week. Yeah, it, it has been difficult, but it has been cool to actually just think about that, but right now I'm just looking around the room and going, fuck, everything's a goddamn platform. Like, the <laughs> lights doing all of this, my god. Yeah, why do the lights go on the roof? And I remember, I, I could imagine like, my grandparents and all that being so amazed at it all. Like, you know, the joke on Family Guy or The Simpsons or whatever it was, like, a guy flip switching on and off a of light bulb saying, why are you amazed by this? It's fucking great! Yeah. He didn't swear, but... It's like, and yeah, I have no idea how they even Yeah, work. it's like, well, fuck, it was like 20 bucks from Bonnings, it's difficult. You know, I don't want to spend that much. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, give us your thoughts, give us your feedbacks, tell us what you think. Yeah, More definitely. platforms. Tell us a new platform and we'll do it. We'll become multi-billionaires together. Yeah. <laughs> so this has been uh, High 45. I'm Tristan Gray. I'm Nathan Waters. Catch you next time. See ya.